Hi all. Hi guys. Lovely to see you. Um, so, Art and Olfaction Awards. Yep. We've covered a few of those, haven't we? We've talked about a few of the, the nominees. Yeah. Um, and liked them and enjoyed them. I want to go to those at some point. Yeah, I don't know um, if they're even going to happen this year, are they? No, it's because of bats. Um. <laughs> but we've got something from a very exciting house here, haven't we? A house we've not talked about no. before. Mask we will, Milano. Um, so this, I'll just tell you what happened. So I, I bought a bottle, not of um, Love Kills, but of Russian tea. Um, I'll show you the bottle um, of Russian tea, just as an example of the, the presentation, because they are absolutely, if you haven't it's seen awesome, them before, they are really absolutely sensational bottles and anyway what's that made of there it's quite kind of it's quite it's really nice isn't it? it's very futuristic yeah it's got that kind of nice like nice to the touch it's very yeah. tactile it's very lovely I anyway really like that. some of the nicest bottles i've ever seen and i would say possibly the best atomizers i'll show you in a minute so yes. i ordered this um it's an online um shop it's actually through ebay um i don't think there's anywhere in the uk you can buy mask milano bottles at the moment no. we first, avoid don't yeah, um, Javoy used to carry them, but, but not anymore. Anyway, I got a really good deal, including an, an extra 20% off for a small business um, uh, deal. So got that for cheap and got Love Kills as a sample with that, as well as some other Mars Milano samples. So, yeah, we first tried Mars Milano in Javoy in mm. London. Um, and Tango was... Tang yeah, Tango is one of the ones that lots of people say is their kind of the best amber, the kind of sticky labdanum Yeah. Um, Hemingway, which is this kind of rhubarb and vetiver. Yeah, really um, good. Monte Cristo yeah. was a really fantastic, dirty cigar thing. And then what's the, is it Manda Mandala? Manda, let me, uh, yeah. yeah Man Mandala, which is the amazing incense one. And of course, this one which I bought, which is Russian tea, which is... Uh, uh, mint and raspberry on top of this tea and then this beautiful birch and leather at the bottom. Awesome. They are all, I mean, as well as the, the presentation being beautiful, they are really beautifully put together fragrances, I think, on a whole. They, um, they're, they're all, uh, uh, they're not obvious. I mean, some of this combination, this combination of mint, um, raspberry, tea and birch is beautiful. It's a very but, interesting combo, isn't it? Absolutely. I and, wouldn't expect that. And the, and, the, and the vetiver and rhubarb in Hemingway. Yeah. Some really interesting things, but they're all done impeccably, I think. They're, they're really exquisitely, you can tell there's, um, not that there's no rough, rough edges, but there, there's really, the balance of everything has really been worked out. Um, so, love Exciting. kills. I'll give you a spray and I'll, just, I'll, I'll just waffle on even more about uh, this one. Here we go. Love can kill, yeah. but it's okay. So this is part of, most of their fragrances are fr from their opera series. And this is act three, scene three. Ooh, I'm some good Russian tea, for instance, is act three, uh, scene one. So this is a fragrance in two um, parts, uh, the love and the kills bit. So the love also includes a love skin accord, which has got some ambrette uh, and uh, rose oxide, and the kills um, accord, which is the love scars accord, which I think is quite interesting to actually kind of, um, kind of highlight those two kind of sections, which you hopefully perceive when you smell. What are you getting? <laughs> I like it. I'm, I'm getting a very, I'm getting a very sort of metallic space aged rose in a fridge. <laughs> yeah. That's what I, my first impression. Yeah. It's quite cold. It's, I mean, temperature-wise, not yeah. sort of personality-wise. It reminds me of the Sven Pritzkerlite, um frozen. Is it frozen? Is it just called frozen rose? I can't remember. Well, anyways, I'll, I'll put a link above. But there, there's one which is that very cold austere. I, I don't think I don't find that this quite as austere as that. That Turkish leather for me, that Turkish leather, that Turkish rose for me is already quite sweet. But I know what you mean that it's it's quite metallic. It's quite almost it's a bit coldy. Yeah, it? <laughs> I think I think it's also the geranium. I think it's the way that the geranium gives a kind of searing kind of freshness. Uh, do you know that could be it? It could be that it could be that this geranium is it's kind of minty to the point of actually cooling, like a, <laughs> yeah. a cooling menthol. Yeah, yeah. That kind of effect. I know what you mean. And I think, I almost wonder if the, the, the rose oxide comes off first rather than the, the, kind of the rose itself. Uh, and yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's quite like a punch. And it's quite, um, 
uh, I don't know if it's, synthetic is not the, the word I'm looking for. It, it's almost like it's plasticky, like it's a plastic yeah. slap across the face. It, I mean, it feels synthetic in the best possible sense yeah. of the word. It, it feels like a, like a rose-flavoured rose. Mm. I think it's impossible to use the word synthetic when you're talking about perfume without people thinking you're trying to be negative, and that's not what I mean. I just, I, it's, it doesn't smell, it almost smells like a hyper-real, like a space-age rose or so. It's... Yeah. Um, I'm getting like a slightly, like a rose-infused milk, like a rose-infused cold milk. Really <laughs> weird. Yeah, it's I not creamy of, as such. But I, know, just, I know, I think it's, it's just that, that idea of the kind of coldness. Slightly minerally. And I like, I like the way it's occasionally I feel that, that geranium is used with rose to give the impression of a Thaife rose a little bit. Yeah. You know, you get the kind of that citrusy quality to a Thaife rose, which is not quite here, but the way the geranium plays with it, fresh, minty, refreshing, almost borderline citrusy without going that far. I, and I always sort of see pink and yellow in my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. just get that yeah. immediate certainly, sort of Yeah, certainly kind of... Um, but with this... I also get like a lacquered red. I get like a, a big sheet of red plastic like smacking me around the face. Oh, really? Like <laughs> as well as all of that. And and I think yeah. Oh it's God. good. It's good. I like it, I have to say. And I as I said I do think this rose oxide that you get in the beginning which gives the kind of metallic twang. It's interesting. Sometimes with metallic sometimes with rose oxide it becomes so metallic that it almost smells like blood you know if you yeah. ever get punched in the nose and you taste blood going down your yeah. throat which doesn't sound very nice but I, some, I don't get that with this actually I never mind it because it normally means that I'm awake and I haven't been knocked out unconscious which, <laughs> which is famous um, but yeah this, 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 this opening we're talking about I do think it does mellow a bit and it becomes more and more about um, the rose I've sorry I should have said that Joe's smelling this for the first time I've, yeah. I've had the sample for a while so I have worn it on skin a, a few times to get a feel for it this is there some lavender coming through there or something quite possibly there's a, there's a slightly kind of herbaceous quality I did I was surprised that when it talks about the uh, the love scars uh, accord um, the cedar wood I, ne I, ne I never really found I never got very much of that at all I have to say, so I'm after this, um, this metallic, plasticky, quite in your face rose opening, I feel that the Turkish rose becomes um, juicier. I also, f I did feel it goes through a wet rose phase and a, it, basically the rose becomes more natural and you start to believe it as a rose as opposed to just metal or, yeah. or plastic impression. I need to try that on skin, I think, mm. to get there because I'm still getting this impression of rose. Yes. Yeah. But there's something coming through there. there I'm, I'm getting a sort of gentle, like a gentle sandalwoody. Mm, there's also there's also ambrette seed, and there's some musks, and there's some um, not ambergris, but there's kind of ambroxany kind of things in there, aren't there? What do they call it? They call it amber amberome, which I assume is another kind of brand name for uh, ambroxan or something like that. Amberome. Hmm. I don't. The patchouli never becomes that big in this for me. I really, I think this is a really beautiful fragrance, as with yeah. all Mask Milano, it, it feels really thoughtful, um, really beautifully put together. I was saying to Joe before, before the video, for me, it just doesn't take me to the, the next step. And it's interested in, in, in yeah. a fragrance that's been nominated for an Art and Olfaction Award. As somebody owns, who owns a few rose fragrances already, I wouldn't be spending my money on this. Unlike something like Russian tea, which I have spent my money on. Um, so I'll just give you a little spray of that. Just because it feels, this feels really original. And I keep, if you're ever on this, watch this channel, I often say I'm looking for a tea fragrance. Let's just watch this atomizer because it's, it's, it's such a good atomizer. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. You can actually it. control the speed. Oh, right? That's really good. It's a thing of, you know, it's almost and I tell sexual you, pleasure. It improves the performance of the perfume, the way it's atomized. Mm. Oh, yes. But you're getting... See, I mean, I know it's bigger and it's, it's kind of instantly gets you, but mm. this is very nice and subtle and everything, but this has immediate personality. Yeah. It's, it's not about the size. It, it, that combination of, you've got that, that searing coldness of oh. mint with warmth of tea and, I, and the birch comes straight away. It's such the birch is right there just poking its head out. <laughs> God, that's really good. Yeah, that's really and it's good. beautiful on skin. 
I love wearing it and it's the kind of Fantastic. thing I can wear on a fresh day and it just it as you can see from our reactions the Russian tea it, it really excites me I think Love Kills is a, is a very very uh, competent beautiful fragrance um, it does last a long time it's not a big fragrance but it did last a long time and I did get a development from, from this metallic bright rose to something which was became sweeter in the middle and and then kind of softens a, a little bit. I never got much of the cedarwood. I got a bit of the patchouli, but I didn't get much of that scars accord. It was just for me, it just didn't do, take the next step. I've, I've smelt other things like this. That's the thing. Mm. It's, it's beautiful, but if, yeah, if, like, like you, if I was going to get another rose fragrance, it wouldn't be this. I, you know, I, there are so many other things that I would look for now. So this, I mean, the, the, this retails this at, um, what was it 138 euros for 35 mil? So that's about 125 pounds. So portrait of a lady is 165 pounds for 50 mil. So that's almost the same price. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not saying you have to compare every rose fragrance to portrait of the lady, portrait of a lady, but it's an easy comparison to draw. Um, and if I was going to suggest one Turkish rose fragrance to you, I would suggest Portrait of a Lady right. over Love Kills. Maybe it's boring because that's what everyone talks about, but... But the, the personality of the Russian tea is huge. Yeah. It, you know, it instantly draws me in and, and makes me think, wow, what the hell is going on there? Yeah. How's, how have they done that? And the same with something like Hemingway, that rhubarb and vetiver is, is brilliant. The, the oh, mandala, amazing incense. So Tesla, and I can see it there, lovely. that Monte Cristo you've got. Yeah, another one That's of the samples. That's so good. That's little, so little good. sample bag that they gave me. Anyway, so that's what we think. I think it's a really beautiful fragrance. Well done, yeah. well put together. I don't think it's the greatest fragrance. I don't think it's the best fragrance that's in the nomination for Art and Olfaction Awards. But I think Agreed. they are a, a great brand who, yeah, wonderful. who don't do any bad fragrances. It's not a bad fragrance at all. It's lovely. Anyway. Let us know what you think. Let yeah. us know if you completely uh, disagree. But until next time, bye. Happy sniffing. <laughs>